Yeah, this yeah. is an important story, and, and, and you know I don't want to oversell it, but these these are this is an important step. I think I don't know I don't know how this works enough to know that whether this can be walked back by the next pope, but um, Pope Francis today, 10 a.m. Um, said that Catholics uh, by allow, uh, have, has allowed, I guess he presents an edict, sort of like when Ben Shapiro does about uh, who constitutes a good Jew, uh, allowing uh, priests, Catholic priests, to bless couples in same-sex relationships. This is not marrying them. Um, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. The Vatican had long said it could not bless same-sex couples, uh, because it would undermine church doctrine that marriage is only between a man and a woman. So I guess presumably the priest comes up and says, you know, bless you in the same right. way that uh, they he would for a uh, uh, a male and female marriage. Um, the new rule, according to the Times, was issued in a declaration by the church's office on doctrine and introduced by its prefect, Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez said that the declaration did not amend the traditional doctrine of the church about marriage because it allowed no liturgical right that could be confused with the sacrament of marriage. Um, he said it's pretty uh, kind of obvious. Like, like the people that were uh, objecting to it were maybe being a little bit uh, too cautious. Like, it's not marriage. <laughs> it's not marriage, but it is a recognition of the relationship between these two people. Uh, that one can understand the possibility of blessing couples in irregular situations and same-sex couples without officially validating their status or changing in any way the church's perennial teaching on marriage. It doesn't officially validate their status, but it sort of unofficially validates their status. Mm -hmm. um, Which is very much in keeping with what the Pope, this Pope Francis has been kind of doing, right? Gesturing towards more acceptance of gay people, gesturing towards more acceptance of trans people. And then there was this, him here. speaking out here, like against what happened um, in Gaza on, on Saturday, where reportedly an Israeli military sniper shot and killed two women inside of uh, the Holy Family Parish in Gaza. There was a Christian minority in the Palestinian territories. Um, and so... I think Pope Francis felt compelled to speak about it. He's been trying to call for and use his his platform to call for a ceasefire for a while now. But now, you know, the, the, it's directly a Christian who the Christians who have been killed. Continue one I see second from Gaza. Keep, what? Uh, I, I, go, go ahead, Bradley. Keep just play oh, it. I'll, I'll move it. We just want to get this up. <laughs> Unarmed civilians are the target of bombings. Go ahead. And gunfire. This has even happened within the compound of the Holy Family Parish, where there are no terrorists. Only families, children, people who are sick and have disabilities, and nuns. A mother and her daughter, Miss Nahide Khalil Anton, and her daughter, Samar Kamal Anton, were killed. And others were injured by snipers as they walked to the bathroom. The house of the sister's mother, Teresa, was damaged. And their generator was hit. Some say this is terrorism. This is war. Yes, it is war. It's terrorism. That is why scripture affirms that God stops wars. Breaks the bow. Splinters the spear. Let us pray to the Lord for peace.
So that is him calling the IDF's actions there terrorism. Um, the actions of snipers killing women. And snipers have scopes. <laughs> snipers can see. It's like there's... And they are... I mean, we can start with the premise of, like, they are targeting their sniper fire at a church, okay? Then the added layer of the snipers can see who they're targeting. The added layer that these are women and children. Uh, yeah, just horrible. It's just horrible. Um, but daily occurrence in Gaza right now. Nice to have the uh, State Department spokespeople say that Israel takes care to not do bad things more than any other military.